Hey guys, Lee Tapped here. Welcome to another speed tip from my garage. I want to share with you stuff that we don't often talk about. And it's like, what do you do in between exercises or in between reps or in between sets? There's, you know, if you're a, if you're a personal trainer, you work one-on-one -on -one with a client, um, there's that dead time. And if you have a client that is not uh, someone that likes to talk, much it can be awkward at times but when you work with athletes especially in, in your adult clients there's still stuff you could do in between the actual work set so that you're getting some benefit so i'm going to show you three tips that i like to use uh, to help my athletes stay active and to get some benefit in between so the first one is after we've done an exercise and i know i'm going to give them at least a minute sometimes 90 seconds i'll go to one of my band exercises so maybe I'll tell them I want them to work on some simple um, abduction type exercises maybe working on the shoulders or we'll go here and we'll work on some postural exercises it could be anything I could be doing some external rotation with the shoulders there's a number of things that, <clears throat> excuse me that I could work on the next one I like to do a lot especially if my athletes are loading their hips and loading their legs a lot is I'll just have my box out and I'll ask them to work on a hip exercise. So for many people, including me, who's not extremely mobile and flexible, this is giving me a really, really good stretch. For other people, you know, they're going to have to start to work on getting lower and then work on some range of motion, maybe do 5, 10 uh, reps and then switch sides. By the time they're done, they're ready for their next exercise. The third one I like to do is I like to use the TheraBand Balance Pad. And what we do on this is we do what we call reaches. It's a form of certainly balance training, but it's, it's also body orientation and adjustments. And what that means is like if I put my arm out here, if I don't adjust to it, it pulls me off because more my center of mass was moved that way because more weight went out to the side. So we'll do exercises where the athlete has to stand and we'll just move limbs around or reaches with the legs, or possibly both, okay? So I might even reach this way, counterbalance the opposite way. So what it does is it takes the workout itself and it gives more volume and more density, but it doesn't add more intensity, and that's the key, so you can get a lot done. So hey, give those a shot, and I'll be back next time with another speed tip from my garage.